On the 15th of August 2021, when the Taliban took Kabul, Fatima's studies came to a sudden halt. Age 23, the Afghan medical student had to start over. She is now taking classes with the French Immigration and Integration Office, getting her French up to standard to continue her studies. In the past, the Taliban had always banned women from universities. I think every country, especially Afghanistan, I need a, a, a good doctor, a woman doctor, that help women and girls. With the help of her sister, who was already living in France, she made it out of Afghanistan within eight days, on a French plane via Abu Dhabi. Once on French soil, though, a new challenge awaited. Now that I live in France, it's important for me to speak French, to study medicine, work and communicate with French people. I think she will take her A1 test at the end of July and then work towards her A2 and B1 to achieve her goal. Fatima often thinks back to the day her life changed forever. I couldn't dream that the Taliban can occupy the Kabul also. On the 15th of August 2021, she went into her university. She was supposed to have an exam. It was, uh, it, all of uh, the class was silent. One of my uh, teachers said, uh, ran, um, to, said to me that, Fatima, you have to go to home because uh, the Taliban um, uh, came to Kabul. So I just to cry because how is it possible? It was my end of dream. And Fatima is not the only one. Many other female students also fled to France. Among them Soraya, who represented her country in handball. As early as April 2021, she lost a teammate, Nouria Tabesh, murdered in her own home. And after the fall of the capital, a letter from the Islamic Emirate was sent to warn them. If they did not stop playing, they would face harsh punishments in accordance with Sharia law. So Soraya too fled. Changing countries is hard, especially alone. But now I've made many friends like Fadina, Fatima and Samaya. And I hope that by being here we can speak out for the women who stayed in Afghanistan under Taliban rule and make their voices heard all over the world. On the left, Fadina, a doctor in Afghanistan. Samaya, on the right, a young MP. Despite all they have been through, these women are determined. Fatima's ultimate ambition is to one day return to her country, free of Taliban rule, fluent in French and a qualified doctor.